In this tutorial, I will show you how to create your first Nookstar niche store. I'll start by showing you how to create the database and then running the setup wizard for Nookstar. I will then show you how to create a Nookstar ID and assign it to your new website. At this stage, you should have already 1. Purchase a domain name from GoDaddy. 2. Set up your HostGator hosting account. 3. Change the DNS server on your new domain to point to your HostGator DNS servers. 4. Copy the Nookstar software to your FTP site under public HTML directory. If you have not done all these steps, you can check the Nookstar tutorials on YouTube.com or download the Nookstar user guide PDF file. With that being said, let's begin by logging into your HostGator cPanel and creating a new database for your niche store. We can get to cPanel by going to your new domain with the forward slash and the word cPanel at the end of the URL, like this. When you go to the cPanel URL, you will see a login screen. Enter the username and password you set up when creating your HostGator account, and then click Login. Now that we are in cPanel, let's scroll down until we see the icon for MySQL databases. Let's create a new database by entering the name of the database we want to create. I'm going to type in the name Nookstar in all lowercase and then click Create Database. On the next screen, it confirms that we created the database. Click Go Back to go to the previous screen. Next, we need to create a user account for this database. I'm going to type Nookstar in all lowercase again for the user account. I'm going to click the Password Generator button to generate a random strong password. Make sure you copy this case-sensitive password to a safe place as we will need to use it in a later step. Now click Use Password. Now click the Create User button. The next screen confirms that the new user has been added. Please confirm you have written your new password down exactly as seen on the screen. Click Go Back to go to the previous screen. So far we have created a database and a user with a strong password. We can see here that we have a database, but there is no user assigned to it. Now we need to assign this new user to the database and give the user full rights to the database. Since we only have one user in one database, I'm going to click the Add button at the bottom of the screen. On this screen, click All Privileges to grant the user full rights to the database, then click Make Changes. Click Go Back to go to the previous screen. Please make note that the actual database name and user we created begins with your HostGator user account and then an underscore. You will need to use this exact naming convention in the Nookstar Setup Wizard. At this stage, we are done setting up the database. We will now move on to the setup wizard. Now that we have a database, we need to run the setup wizard. It is assumed at this stage you should have already copied the Nookstar software to your FTP site under public HTML folder and change the primary and secondary DNS records on your domain name in GoDaddy to your HostGator DNS servers. Let's begin by browsing to your new domain. A setup wizard should load on the screen similar to this. The setup wizard you see on my screen may slightly differ from the version you see on your screen. On the first screen, click Continue. This screen is where we will enter all the database information we created in the prior steps. The first field is requesting the database name. Type in the database name you created. Please keep in mind the HostGator naming convention for the database name and the username. The database name will be your HostGator user and underscore, and then the name of the database. In the username field, type in the username you created in the prior step while following the HostGator naming convention. In the password field, enter the password exactly as you wrote it down while maintaining capital and lowercase letters. Your password should not exceed 16 characters. Next is the database host field. If your database server is located on a different server than your web server, you would need to enter its IP address or host name. If you're not sure, then do not change this field. 
In the menu field, you can select one pre-configured menu item. This will be the menu on your store which will automatically generate the correct products. The All Categories menu item is for testing or creating custom menus and is not suggested you select this menu option for your first store. If you do not see a menu option for the niche you want to create, you will have to create your own menu at a later time. Once the setup wizard is complete, you can always log into the local control panel and delete this site and quickly create a new one. Please choose a menu that best describes your niche store so you can finish the setup wizard. The Nookstar ID field is optional at this point. If you already created a user account on Nookstar.com and generated the Nookstar ID for this site, you can enter it here. I'm going to leave it blank for now and enter the Nookstar ID in the local control panel after the setup wizard completes. Create a username for the local control panel. This username will be used to gain access to all your settings and controls for your niche stores. It is important that you write down this information as you will always need to refer back to it. Create a password for the username you just created above. Please keep in mind that the password is case sensitive, so note the correct capital and lowercase letters. It is important that you write down this information as you will always need to refer back to it to configure or make changes to your niche stores. Enter your valid email address. The email address field is used to recover your password in case you forget it, and it will also be used for alerting you of changes made in your control panel in case they are unauthorized. The email address remains in your local database and is not gathered or used for any other purpose. The website host name should already be filled in with the website you are setting up. It is recommended you leave it as is. Click Continue. This next screen confirms we successfully set up our first niche store. Please confirm you wrote down the correct username and password, including the correct capital and lowercase letters in the password. Also make sure you write down the URL to your local control panel, as you will always need to refer to this URL to make changes to your niche stores. As a side note, if for some reason you need to start over, you will need to FTP into your HostGator account and delete the config.php file from the include folder. By deleting this config.php file, it will force the site to go back into setup mode and display the setup wizard again. If I open my new site, I will get the following message because I did not specify the Nookstar ID yet. Let's go back to the previous step and log into our new control panel. Here we can see the new site we just created. Please take note of the Nookstar ID as it is set to zero. In the next steps I will show you how to create a Nookstar ID and assign it to your new site. Let's begin by opening your web browser and go into your favorite website www.nookstar.com. Click Login on the top menu. If you already have an account, you can skip this step. I'm going to create a new account. Click Register under the Login button. Type in a valid email address. This email address will be your member login name in the future. You will receive a confirmation email that you will need to open in order to activate your account. Be sure to create a strong password. It must contain at least one capital letter, lowercase letter, and a number. Passwords must be at least eight characters long. Enter your password again to confirm. Enter the characters you see in the picture in the last field to authenticate your registration. All letters typed in this field need to be in lowercase form. If the characters are illegible or hard to read, you can click the refresh button to redraw the characters. Click the register button. The next screen allows you to confirm your input was correct. If everything is correct, click confirm. The next screen will confirm an email was sent to you. You will now need to open your confirmation email and click the link to activate your account. Once you have activated your account, you can now log into the member area. 
Now that our account is activated, we can log in. Enter the username which is your email address and then the password. Then click log in. When you first log in, you will automatically be placed in the Nookstar ID menu item. Click add to create a new Nookstar ID. You must type in the exact same site name you entered in your local admin. If you remember correctly, the site name we used was www.kiddadle.com. The anti-bot field will filter search engines that follow your product URLs. Although most affiliates will do this automatically for you, in some cases it will increase your earnings per click. If you already have an Amazon or eBay affiliate code, you can enter it now. These affiliate codes that you enter will be passed to the product URLs in your niche store. When an internet shopper clicks one of your products, you will get credit for the click within your affiliate account. If you do not have an affiliate code, you can still create the Nookstar ID and add the affiliate codes at a later time. You will need to apply directly to eBay and Amazon in order to get an affiliate code. Please refer to the Getting Started page for the links. Enter the characters you see in the picture in the last field to continue with your Nookstar ID record. All letters typed in this field need to be in lowercase form. If the characters are illegible or are hard to read, you can click the refresh button to redraw the characters. Click the add button when you are finished. Please confirm your input was correct and click the confirm button. Now we have a Nookstar ID for site www.kiddadle.com. Let's go back to our local control panel and enter our new Nookstar ID into our site record. Go to your local control panel URL. Enter your username and password and log in. Click the edit icon. In the first field, enter your Nookstar ID that you created in the previous step. Click edit. If the ID you entered is correct, click Confirm. Now you have a site name that matches the Nookstar ID in both the local control panel and on Nookstar.com member area. Next step is to promote your store on Nookstar.com using the automatic campaign creator, which is not covered in this tutorial. Congratulations, you are done.